I'm Amber Niblock, and this is the NRA ILA Grassroots News Minute for Friday, October 12th. Last week, the National Rifle Association's Political Victory Fund announced its endorsement of Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan for President and Vice President of the United States. NRA's Executive Vice President Wayne LaPierre and NRA ILA's Executive Director Chris W. Cox made the announcement in Fishersville, Virginia during a rally with both Governor Mitt Romney and Representative Paul Ryan in attendance. Also attending and performing at the press conference was country music superstar and NRA Life member Trace Adkins. Friends, we live in a country that's getting harder to recognize every day. Led by a president who mocks our values, belittles our faith, and is threatened by our freedoms. Now thankfully, thankfully we have a choice, and the choice could not be more clear. So on behalf of the four million men and women of the National Rifle Association and tens of millions of NRA supporters across this country, it's my honor to announce the NRA's endorsement of Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan for President and Vice President of the United States. The actions of President Barack Obama have harmed the Second Amendment for generations to come. He has appointed two anti-gun nominees to the Supreme Court one of whom has already signed an opinion saying law-abiding Americans do not have an individual right to own firearms. Obama's administration worked on a United Nations arms trade treaty that would undermine our Second Amendment rights, and he has helped cover up the deadly Operation Fast and Furious scandal, arming Mexican drug cartels that continue to kill countless innocent American and Mexican citizens. He has also said the ability of lawful citizens to carry a firearm for personal protection should be banned nationwide. As a state legislator, he opposed a law to protect people who use guns in their own homes for self-defense, endorsed a total ban on the manufacturing, sale, and possession of all handguns, and supported a 500% increase in federal taxes on guns and ammunition. America's 100 million gun owners justifiably fear that a second term for Obama, then unaccountable to voters, would bring an all-out assault on the Second Amendment. But there's a clear choice this November. Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan will protect our right to keep and bear arms by appointing Supreme Court justices who will uphold the rulings of the landmark Heller and McDonald cases, which held that the Second Amendment guarantees a fundamental individual right to keep and bear arms for all law-abiding Americans. Additionally, Romney and Ryan have stated their opposition to efforts by the United Nations to implement a global gun control bureaucracy. So if the 2012 election season hasn't started for you, start now and commit to getting to the polls on Election Day to make a difference in this year's campaign. On November 6, gun owners and supporters must vote freedom first by voting Romney Ryan. For more information on our endorsement and how to get involved, please visit us at www.nrapvf.org.